Okay, we want to get over to Mark. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Yeah, so um, yeah, you were pointing out, I hope you don't mind if I share, Bonnie I was not. like, yeah, the weather kind of gets me down when we have all these gray days. Yeah, you know, right? I, I'm missing the sunshine. Sometimes yeah. I need that for some motivation. Um, and, and the next two days won't be so bad. Okay. I mean, we don't have any 80 degrees <laughs> sunny you. weather coming up. But sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, it won't be quite as wet. Uh, you see, it's not too oh, showery yeah, I see some right blue now. Right there. But look at those temps. Let me back up. It's only around 50 in the metro area. Typically, we're in the upper 60s at 5 or 6 p.m. Yeah. on a uh, mid-May afternoon. In fact, it's a little warmer places along the coast. 53 out there are Shiloh and Seaside Cam, breezy west wind. Newport, I'm sure you're cool down there. You have 48 degrees, breezy west wind there. So lawn mowing forecast, this gives you a little bit of hope. Mainly dry tomorrow with the grass in the afternoon. I mean, the weather will be dry in the morning. But uh, other than a pop-up shower or two, tomorrow doesn't look wet at all. Then Wednesday, dry grass through the afternoon because I don't expect any rain until we get to the evening hours. Do not wait till like 6 or 7 p.m. to mow on Wednesday because then it's too late, I think. And then forget it Thursday because Thursday Thursday's the next real wet day. And you notice on the radar, we're just not seeing much along the coastline. Uh, not so wet there. And then here in the valleys, we just got these scattered showers kind of milling about. None of them are too intense right now. Earlier, we were seeing areas of yellow. In fact, you don't see much going on here in the metro area. Yeah, so look how those are just faded away on the east side of town, east of uh, I-205. That's a good sign. The atmosphere is kind of weak, uh, flattening out a bit. Uh, that's actually not the best wording, but basically the clouds are flattening out a bit. All right, big picture. Here's a jet stream the next nine days. Wherever the wind is flowing fast, we paint in some color here. We've got this big dip in the jet stream, and when that happens, cool air flows south. That's why we are cool and shower. There tends to be a lot of lifting in these dips as well. And actually, this is pretty powerful for going into the Rockies. They can get pretty stormy there. Well, we go to uh, Wednesday, there's kind of a break here. That jet stream is weakening, the little dip is going away. But here comes a new little dip in the jet stream, what we call an upper level trough, and it dips right over us on Thursday. That's why we think Thursday and somewhat uh, Friday will be wet as well. We get to this weekend, the jet stream is pushing to the north. Okay, that's a little warmer. That can be more reasonable for us. If we don't have any precipitate rain falling, it can be, it hit 70 pretty easily. That may happen this weekend, although the jet stream is pretty close. So I'm, that's why we're leaving the chance for showers in Saturday and Sunday. We get into next week. Look at this. By next Tuesday and Wednesday, here comes another cold trough. So that tells me this pattern is not going away in the next 9 to 10 days. This is <clears throat> going to continue at least through uh, the middle of the month and maybe a little bit beyond. So uh, you can see most of the cold showers, though, are to our south, and we expect more of those showers to slip farther uh, to the south and east. So that's why we think tomorrow's going to be quite a bit dry. Here's a model forecast, and you can see what's going on tonight. It looks like things dry out. We get to sunrise, eh, partly cloudy, and look at tomorrow afternoon. Fantastic for most of us, except a shower or two could develop over the coast range and drift out over the valley. Small chance. Coastline looks amazing tomorrow. Total rain? Yeah, not much through Wednesday. All right, so your forecast for your Tuesday. Bonnie, tomorrow should be a little brighter. Uh, we expect just mainly dry conditions through the day. There's just a chance for a shower late in the day. I mean, like a pop-up shower. Most of us stay dry. 60, which is still below average. Uh, same thing Wednesday, just an afternoon shower chance. But Thursday's a soaker. Forget Thursday. A few showers left over Friday, and we think there's just a chance for a shower Saturday and Sunday. But temperatures will be warmer. So, Bonnie, if we get a shower this weekend, it'll be a little warmer shower.